don't be fooled everybody by the dark video and and coming into it and thinking oh it's going to be a dark song and it's going to be Whoa. no elisa le Grove from canada is going to brighten your day because why if you've never heard of her before and this is the first time that you've been introduced to her voice and her performance you're going to be blown away she's singing drinking in the day and you might just want a little tipple after listening to her and think wow i must add her to my playlist because she is incredible and she is but she has a legion of fans don't be fooled around the world but i feel she's still underrated still unknown in many parts of the world and that's why i love it when i do a world channel like this and reach out to you my worldwide listeners all my shamrocks over 7,000 shamrocks to date Woo! and i'm heading one two three in towards the eight already so i'm looking forward to christmas because maybe just maybe in the new year i'll hit ten thousand, which is my, was my aim two years ago i said 2025 will be the year i'll get ten thousand. i know i will i'm doing well but lisa le Gros is going to be part of that reaction video fans that i have when they realized wow where did she come from well, there's a little synopsis on it, and I think that's all we need to know. She was offering, she was offered a recording contract when Sony ATV Music listened to her in Toronto at the NXNE Music Festival uh, way back in 2009. So if you're thinking, well, I've never heard of her before, don't worry, a lot of people haven't. But I listen to her privately all the time, so obviously I know this song. Obviously, I know and have an awareness about the lyrics because that's what I do. And the lyrics, just to give everybody else, is about vulnerability, these lyrics that she's singing about, and emotional release. It's about someone who's trying to pay fine on the surface, but is clearly struggling internally. We'll break down the lyrics straight after. Thank you, as always, to Genius Lyrics for their contribution to the music industry and people like me who are reacting to songs because without them I'd be totally lost. I wouldn't have the lyrics to break down. So thank you again. Everybody take a listen, enjoy and come back to me and we will savour what we're about to hear in the form of understanding what the lyrics were about.
she's got a moody presence about her beautiful dark eyes that draw you in then she hits you with the voice that was her chilled out everybody singing live that wasn't her live performing giving it all she's got she's got a powerful powerful vocal box this woman and a sultry one as well and when when it's all mixed together it just comes across beautifully just like that did effortless drinking in the day by my introduction on my channel for 2024 going into christmas 2025 elisa mcgrow welcome to the channel down to the lyrics now everybody oh babe don't say you're doing fine don't hide yourself away something on your mind you're drinking in the day coming from the way sometimes it's good to cry 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 so what are they crying about because she continues this life's your frickle friend indeed and when it comes to end knocks you off your feet who can really say where she went that day that's why you've got to cry 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 well at least as i said the lyrics are concerns for someone who is trying to appear fine on the surface but is clearly with the help of drink struggling internally that act of drinking in the day suggests for me that alcohol is how they're coping and it's a coping mechanism for many many people to deal with emotions when somebody has slipped through their hands and it's decided to walk in the opposite direction but however the song does suggest that it's better to confront and release those emotions through crying instead instead of bottling them up as they say it's okay turning to drink i've often said this to my friends i don't drink as a rule that doesn't say how can i put this that doesn't mean that when i'm at a wedding or a function i won't have a sociable drink but i'm not a drinker i wouldn't go out and in fact in my 16 years with my current partner i am not and i can count on one hand how many times i've been either to a wedding or a function where i've had a drink it's just not in me i i grew up not wanting to drink and i've quit smoking recently as well but if i want to get my emotions out I have to say I'm a person that likes to find that quiet spot in the corner. My, it could be my bedroom, it could be going for a coffee, knowing that very few people go to that coffee shop on a certain day in the week. And I just, I'm a deep thinker. I release by thinking deeply. I don't turn to drink and I don't do anything like that. But that's not to say I criticize other people that do. If you do, it's a way of coping, isn't it, everybody? Because it continues, and I went home, but I don't know, but I don't know where you are. So that's, but that's a confusion of drink, mind over matter, isn't it? That when you drink a lot, you get confused a lot about the actual facts. It says, oh babe, don't say that's all right. Stop fighting like a man just because you can. You're drinking in the day, shaking from the way sometimes it is good to cry 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 in other words when people are shaking with anger shaking with emotion and confusion their body language dictates that but that doesn't mean they be you know it's the drink that's doing it it's just their emotions and as she said as she's singing about sometimes it's really good to let it out and cry and and don't be ashamed the amount of me i've got to say i i thought chauvinism I have to say this in 2024 i thought chauvinism was buried but it's not i've still got friends male friends that would not cry because they're a man and you and i often say to them where did it ever say in the bible of bibles of living did it ever say that it's only a woman that cries oh i don't know but as i went home i don't know but i don't know where you are it says well, the lyrics are touching on that unpredictability nature of life and how it can knock you down. When the line does say that life's your fickle friend indeed, that's implying life can be unreliable and easily change direction, leaving you, the person who's drinking, feeling off balance. The mention of someone being lost or missing in the lyrics, but I don't know, but I don't know where you are, just adds to that feeling throughout the lyrics in the song 
of uncertainty and disconnection from the world until you find you know the mind of a matter situation where you feel okay I'm gonna stop drinking and I'm gonna have a bad headache tomorrow but I've, I'm, I'm done with the person I'm gonna move on I'm gonna move forward but that intermittent time of when you are drinking is how you're, you're keeping calm and some people can drink and keep calm in situations like that you know we it's a myth to think that everybody who drinks is going to be violent and going to be crazy there's no there's no talk about that in the lyrics it's about release it also with crying show an emotion don't be emotionless through the drink which can happen so when it comes to the last bit of the song it says obey oh, don't say you're doing fine don't hide yourself away something's on your mind you're drinking it so come from that way sometimes it's good to cry 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 she drink she sings at the very end and that ultimately is about what the song's about it emphasizes the importance of acknowledging processing want your own emotions rather than hiding them and then releasing them whether you're a man or a woman and it suggests that crying can be a healthy form of release and a way to confront those challenges in life sometimes that we need to and that's my summary Elsie McGrow drinking in the day thank you for coming in 2024 onto my channel I'm looking forward to the response of everybody who comments and likes this artist as well she's been somebody on my own private playlist but now she's hopefully global well she already is but a little bit more of a push from my channel as well thanks for listening